Hey guys, uh, welcome to part 3 of my Land Raider Ares uh, video. So, maybe biggest difference straight away for those of you who have watched the previous two. As you can see I've put the extra armour on it. Um, basically my method for using Forge World stuff is heat it up with a hairdryer. And, you know, once it's hot enough, I know folks say dip it in hot water, but... I find this way quite quicker and a bit easier as well because you can heat it up to as hot as you want make it as flexible and malleable as, as you want it to be uh, especially useful when like attaching this because it hooks over the tracks and onto the side as well so it just makes it a bit more flexible for you know for that so yeah also you can see they don't quite match perfectly, so I'm going to be green stuffing. I've already put some green stuff in, but I've run out now. Um, so I'll be filling up the gaps just to make this one continuous, one continuous piece of armour. So, doors still aren't stuck on it yet, but as you can see, they'll fit quite nicely on it. Again, had a bit of trouble putting the doors onto the the forge world extra armour because you need to file it down a bit around the sides for the, the door to fit but that's not a major problem <coughs> so the business end I have a no, what are they called dozer plough um, what I've done with mine is Focus. These are sort of pistons and whatnot that come with the plough. Um, normally they sit like that on the plough, up against the side, you know, this sort of side wall. You can see where they attach from the <laughs> We have broke it away. Um, but if you were to do that and put it onto a land radar pit, uh, the sort of the pistons would be sticking onto its wheels, which isn't very practical. So what I've done is I've instead of having them attached to the shield like that, I've attached them to the tank like that instead, and the shield will be attached to this end, which you can kind of make out here. That sort of fits quite nicely onto the front, you know, what would have been the front boarding and exit ramp. So that's the way I'm going to do it just now. Now obviously that means the, the plow won't be able to move up and down, but it's not as if there's going to be guys embarking or disembarking as long as that cannon's got a clear line of sight, I'm happy. So also using other bits from the Vindicator um, see I've got the, the sort of exhaust fans from the Vindicator now again I had to kind of cut away this plastic that was in this area and I've used a bit of green stuff to just fill in the gaps of where I've been a bit inaccurate but no, it gives it just makes it tie in more with the fact it's a massive siege engine than maybe wondering what all the extra space where the trips would have been um, so that's that also again I don't know if you maybe make out I've used some bits of green stuff to fill in you know what would have had a board and access ramp hinges and whatever and I've used a dark angel sarcophagus from a dreadnought to put as the front window thought it gives it a bit of Again, ties in with the extra armour, a bit chunkier looking, but it's ties in with my Dark Angels army as well. Now, my one problem is the last bit of the extra armour, this bit, I can't find my other one off it. So, I've been hunting high and low for it, but I don't know where it is. So, I might have to, I don't know, try and make something up with plastic art, or maybe try and green stuff this, make a sort of mould. And reproduce it, I don't know, we'll see what happens anyway I believe that's everything guys let me know what you all think and remember to subscribe
Right, and I'll hopefully be posting another video soon. See you later.